right. So, oh, chap a little badger. I pulled the uh, the rear sight off, which uh, never done before. Haven't had a need to. Trying to help a friend out here. So, I've brought in an extra light for this because this stuff is really tiny and it's really hard to see. So hopefully we can see it with the camera here. <clears throat> hopefully this light's not too overpowering, but anyway, the rear sight sits there. On the bottom side, it's got two pins that stick down that fit into the two holes there. There and there. Third hole's left open for the hole in there. Ta-da! Ah! It's going to be one of those days. Screw goes... Little tiny hex screw. What is it? A T... There, you remember. I can't even read what this is. This light's so bright in my eyes here. Anyway, little uh, little hex screw there. Holds that whole mechanism down. But now... I was having a tough time trying to figure out what you were talking about with the missing bearing. And that is that is a tiny little bearing. So, anyway, there's the, let's call that the chassis for the rear. And then here's the part that's inside it. Okay, like that. This goes through there. It's held in on the other side by that there split ring or clothes ring, whatever you want to call it. And... That's that. That's the whole mechanism. Well, with the exception of the uh, this piece here that slides. Eh. Elevation. All right. Now it has a detent. You can see the detent ball. Well, I don't know if you can see it here. There's actually a detent ball and spring on the underside of that piece there, and it detents on those cutouts. Okay. So you would push down on that metal pin. That spring keeps tension on it. That way you can slide. If you push that out, the spring out, the pin out, slide this all the way off. The little tiny bearing in there, same as that one. And that's what detents. You can hear it. Ugh. All right, that's the detent for that. So, detent for this, which is, I'm assuming, the one that you're talking about having the problem with. If you look on the uh, inside of this, of the, uh, the uh, windage, man. Hard to see, sorry, on the inside of that there, there's little holes, four of them, right, there, 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 and there, okay, what it is, is you'll see the little spring in that hole, right there, the little tiny bearing sits on top of that hole, when this is the inside there, it'll detent on that, and I believe that's what you're what you're missing. All right, so I'll film this and then I'll check it to see if we can actually see what's going on. It's hard for me to see with this really bright LED light on the side here, so I'm going to try and come in it from the left side here and do it above the camera, looking through the camera while I do it. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, so you can see the little little hole there. The spring in there. There, you can see the spring. Trying to get it to contrast on that white there. So the spring goes in the hole. The little bearing ball there. Man, these are tiny. Whee! There's a little bearing ball that sits on top. Okay. Windage knob. Now this is the fun part because you've got to put the middle piece back in. So in goes the windage through the aperture. You can't turn it because that bearing will slip out. So you thread it in. Oh, see the little bearing slipped out already. Well, it might, it might be easier if we just do it this way anyway. Alright. <laughs> see that spring? You have to press it down. 
then you can get the other side of the, you can get the uh, windage aperture to go right, or the windage knob to go right through. Alright, so we're going to back it off so that we can get that little bearing in there. And that's about as far back as we're going to be able to get that before it pops up the other side. So we're going to put that little bearing there. Oh, this is going to be full. That thing does jump everywhere, right? Okay, and we're going to tighten it down. There's your There's your clicking. There's your clicking you're looking for. So, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's that little bearing right there. Alright, so we're going to put the split ring back on the other side. Or Wowzers. My old eyes certainly don't enjoy this like they used to. There. There you go. There's this back together. Okay. There's that detent working on that one. And of course we didn't take this one out, so the detent's still working on that one. Yep. So, now the hard part will be is that you'll have to, to mount this, you've got to take out the middle aperture, right? So you're going to have to pull the, the uh, well, whatever that's called. You have to pull that out, undo the windage knob, not lose that bearing or spring, set it back onto the gun, put the middle screw in, tighten her down, and then put all that back in without losing that detent ball. Fun excitement, eh? I hope that helps. I hope that was a fast enough video, too. I don't know if I use this, but for giggles, I'm going to disassemble this and put it back together on the gun. I don't know if I'm going to keep this part of the video or not, but we'll do it anyway. Okay. Split ring off. Let's not lose that bearing as we're backing out. Okay, so now we're disconnected from the bearing. We'll let it drop free. There it is. That little tiny guy. That way we can back out the windage knob all the way. Alright, aperture comes off. There's the metal part. Let's move this over a little bit. Maybe. Move our light over a little bit so it's not in my eyes. Let's see if we can't mount this on here. This is very fine work. I don't think this camera is going to pick it up very well. And of course it's black on black here. This is interesting trying to do this from behind the camera. It's very fine work. Yep. Okay. Alright, so that's on there. So now, this is going to be the interesting part. So make sure our spring's still in that side. And it is. See it down there. Take our windage knob and see if we can't lace it in there. Okay, so I can feel it coming out the other side now. So I'm going to back it off a little bit. And that should give us enough room. I'm going to move this back over to the, the white cloth here, maybe. Maybe. That should give us enough room. To put that bearing back in there. Minus the lint off the table. Bingo. I would 
call that positive. There we go. Last but not least, the split ring back on. Not quite enough oomph from the old thumbnail to push that on. So let's come out from behind the camera. And. Nope. Alright. And here I thought doing this from well, looking through the camera would be easy. Apparently not. There we go. Voila. Hope that helps.